Right, okay, now the full cost of claiming the Dale Farm Travellers site in Essex has just been officially announced. It's more than £7 million and the saga there may still not be over. Attention has now switched to another site but it's the residents protesting against the gypsies who are facing eviction. Meriden is Middle England, geographically speaking at least, but right now they're also slap bang in the middle of a dispute. Now the two sides of the argument here are quite literally split into two camps. The first one here, Romany gypsies in a field full of caravans. And this one, a camp set up by village residents opposing the gypsy site. Now the council has said that both camps have to go, but this one has to go first. Tell me, what is your problem with this development we've got here? This is a designated wildlife site in the green belt and it's part of a European long distance walkway enjoyed by lots of people. So we're saying that we don't want any development at this site and we've been in touch with 40 or 50 other villages around the country who've had exactly the same experience. And what happens is it's a three step process. Step one, buy the land secretly. Step two, send the bulldozers in, closely followed by the barristers. And step three, dare the council and the government to get rid of you. Noah Burton is landowner of the site and the spokesperson for the Gypsies. We're not here defying the council, we're here pending an appeal and an eviction appeal. We're fighting it legally. Tooth and nail, as hard as we can, as hard as we can fight it, we're fighting it legally. But you're not, because this is an illegal development. We've got nowhere else to go. I've spent everything I've got on this piece of land for somewhere to live, right? Because they're not interested in that bush, they're not interested in that hedge. They just don't want these caravans. They don't want gypsies here. Some people will look at the camp that you've got there and they'll say, well, that's classic Middle England. They will even look, some of them, and say, that's racism. We've had gypsies and travellers in this area for hundreds of years. And uh, the, the last thing that we want to do is poison relations with those people. If you are given an acceptable site somewhere else, that that everyone's had a democratic voice, yes. you know, and a chance to agree on. Yes. They said they'd be happy because there have always been gypsies in this have area. Have they? Well, the Solio Council has actually been trying, and every time they try, they get raid on the back to saying, we don't want that site there. We don't care where it is. It's a gypsy. Oh, we don't want it. So that's not Greenbelt, that's anti-gypsy. So both camps are now facing eviction. What happens next? We are in the hands of the High Court. And I'm afraid the, the law sometimes moves very slowly. We have moved as quickly as we can within our legal powers. Of course, as a council, you have a responsibility to provide an allocation for the gypsy community. Is that allocation there? Yes, it is. We have a number of sites, long established sites in, in the borough, and we are currently going through a further assessment to see if more sites are needed. And this is a land grab we're looking at. It's a situation which is being replicated, I have to say, across the country on, on different sites and, and that seems to be the way in which it has been done very often over a bank holiday weekend. The reality is that your camp will be gone long before that development over there. Even though this temporary structure may come down, our campaign is not going away. We will stay until we see the enforcement of the decisions that we've won. They don't care about us. So it's not green belt. They just don't want gypsies, full stop. And who does? Well, thank you very much indeed, Matt. Thanks for that. Yes.